the cost of rebellion. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Proverbs 1 verse 7 the 1960s are known for the rebellion of thousands of young people, but ever since the fall of Adam in the Garden of Eden, people of all ages everywhere have rebelled against authority, parental, governmental, and divine. The fool who is referred to in Psalm 53 verse 1 denied God's rule over his life. People in our day do so in their hearts and in their actions. It is obvious that rebellion pays bad dividends. It inevitably results in a sense of emptiness that often leads to alcoholism, drug addiction, bizarre religious practices, flagrant immorality, broken homes, incurable diseases and despair. Sadly, many experience the high cost of putting what they call my way above God's way. The psalmist portrayed God as seeing the defiance of the wicked, observing their antagonism toward his people and striking them with bewildered panic psalm 53 verse 5 one way or another people who despise wisdom and instruction proverbs 1 verse 7 always pay a high price to live as if there is no god is foolish for it leads to pain despair and eternal death but to live in the fear of God is wise, for it leads to satisfaction, rejoicing, and everlasting life. You must decide, so choose wisely. He is truly wise who submits to God's wisdom. Amen. Today's Daily Bread, Psalm 53. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt and have done abominable inequity. There is none who does good. God looks down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there are any who understand who seek God. Every one of them has turned aside. They have together become corrupt. There is none who does good, no, not one. Have the workers of iniquity no knowledge, who eat up my people as they eat bread, and do not call upon God? There they are in great fear, where no fear was. For God has scattered the bones of him who encamps against you. You have put them to shame because God has despised them. Oh, that the salvation of Israel would come out of Zion when God brings back the captivity of his people. Let Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad.